As we begin this fortnight for freedom, this two-week period of prayer in our Catholic Church for our country, I think it's uh, awesome that in the calendar as well today comes up St. John the Baptist and his celebration, the celebration of his birth. And I think what we see when we look around and, and start to think about this fortnight for freedom that our bishops are asking us to participate in, we recognize pretty quickly that we need more John the Baptists that we need people who, we need saints and we need Catholics who, uh, who, who do what he did, who are not afraid to, to speak about what's wrong. Uh, you'll remember, of course, that he ends up losing his life because he went straight to the king and he said, what you're doing is wrong. It's a sin. You can't be doing that. And that cost him his life. And he could, you, could, you basically get the sense that he didn't care one bit. He could have cared less. And we see, I think, how, how, does, how does it happen? How do, you be, you know, how, does, how do we become St. John the Baptist? What do we do? How do we, you know, is it just that he was just born that way? Or was St. John the Baptist a person who uh, be, came into his own over time? And we see in St. John the Baptist, too, a real uh, lack of caring for the things that we typically, we as, as human beings, are, are sort of oriented to care about. He was a man who fasted and he, he didn't really, he didn't really, uh, he had no problem, you know, giving up food and denying himself physical pleasures and the, those, those sorts of things. Uh, he was also a man, you know, who, who people wanted to kind of make him famous. They were kind of intrigued by him. Like, who is this guy? This is kind of a strange man. You know, and, and people, would, people wanted to kind of come out and they would, they would go to the desert to see him, kind of like a circus. And, and yet he, at, at every opportunity, says, I want nothing to do with this fame that you want to put upon me. I want nothing to do with that. I'm here because I love God and I'm here because I'm a saint and I'm here to do the will of God and to preach and to spread the truth and to do it with love but to do it in an unblinking and an unflinching fashion. That was St. John the Baptist, uh, he, he, a man who, again, lived in the desert, spoke the truth to power, didn't care about the consequences, constantly was, was, was fasting and denying himself things because he knew that they, if you get too attached to those things, then you can't be a, an effective preacher. You can't be an effective evangelizer. Why do we have to do that? Because, as we hear in our first reading, the Lord is wanting to use us and use our nation uh, for good. We hear him, him talking about that. We hear the Lord talking about that. We have to help our nation get back to that. But if we like too much what this world has to offer, if we're too attached to the things that this world offers us, then we will never want to change the world. And that's exactly why Christ asks us to deny ourselves. When we fall too much in love with the joys of the world, and again, we don't say that they're evil, we don't say that they're wrong, food's great, TV's good, movies are good, can be. All these things, are, they're, they're not evil, they're, they're, they're not the problem. But if we love them too much, if we love the world too much, then we will never want to change it. And that is why we have to have more St. John the Baptist in our world today. And so we pray that we may come into our own, that we may come in to be that saint that is not afraid, that is not overly attached to the world, so much so that we can't do anything and we can't say anything to try to change it.